In this video, I'm just going to show you something that's going to give you the chance to have a better connection with a woman. Saying what you feel versus saying the perfect lines. What you feel will be what the woman is impacted by. Saying the perfect lines is what you think the woman is impacted by, but it has really no resonance with her. I'm gonna show you the difference between the two right now. The first one being trying to be perfect. You're gonna see me say all the lines that are trying to be perfect, but it's gonna be void of feeling. Then you're gonna see me do another one where I'm speaking to the girl and I'm just gonna tell her what I like about her, that I'm interested in her, and I'm just gonna tell her what I feel. Here we go. All right, guys, this is me saying the perfect things and feeling that, you know what, if I just tell her just the perfect thing every moment to moment, she'll just somehow want to go on a date with me. Here we go. Hello. Hi, um, I think you are pretty. Thank you. And where are you walking to? Um, I'm going to um, shop. <laughs> ah, shopping. Yeah. So shopping is what girls do. Yes. <laughs> yes. I think us boys, we do things different. Really? Yes. Uh. I don't know, you know, like sports and, oh. you know, hang out with the fellas. I'm a guy from the Where do you come from? I come from America. Really? Yes. Which part? Uh, the part where all the people are really nice. Really? Yes. <laughs> so what about you? I'm Hungarian. Oh, yeah, I kind of figured that you live here, yeah. And are you somebody who, you know, likes days like this? You mean sunny days? Well, yeah, sunny days, I guess, yeah. I'm not the cold person. Yeah, I'm not the cold person either. Yeah, I'm the really sunny person as well. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry for being like this. Yeah. Uh, you're just so pretty. Thank you. Yeah, you make me lose my words. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Just exception or not? Uh, ex you said exception? Yes. Yeah. What is exception? Exception. That's okay. Your English is perfect, actually. No, no, no. Yeah, it's perfect. So I'm going that way. Oh, you are? Yes. All right, well, uh, you are a lovely girl. Uh, you want to go on a date? I have boyfriend. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. All right, well, I'll see you. How long you stay? Oh, I, I just moved here, so. You moved here? Yeah. For what? Because this is where, you know, life took me. You studying or you working? I am not studying. And I do work. Um, I do life coaching, help people who have things wrong with their life type of thing. Yeah, but you seem all right, though. All right, well, um, I'll see you. Bye. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. I'm saying all the right lines, as you can see. It's crazy because <laughs> I'm saying all the right lines, and a part of me is still not being that way. It's still like going back to my normal self and I have to continuously say the lines that I think that's going to get her lines that I feel she wants to hear. If you notice in the end, she wanted to prolong it. She did. She was trying to figure out who I was. I was leaving at the time where she actually started to become invested and I and a part of me was like fuck I wish I want to stay here but I know I'm doing this for you guys this is to show you like saying the per most perfect things she started trying to see who, what do I do and she's like oh you do stay here 
And when I left, you should have saw the look on her face. It was a look like, she was like, okay. And it was like this, I wanted to keep talking to you look. Saying all the perfect things like I did. I made myself do that simply because I know that you guys do that as well. Maybe you're out there and you're speaking to a girl and you're going, you know what? This would be the perfect thing to say. So I say it. Oh, no, no, no. Your English is really good. Your English is perfect. I'm trying to say all the things that I think that she wants to hear. And where does that leave me? Not feeling like I really want to be there. Not really engaging her. I'm engaging her at a certain point because this is something that's outside of what she's used to. But I'm not truly engaged. So she can't be truly engaged. She's only engaged to the extent that I'm engaged. I'm there saying the perfect things and I'm trying to, you know, say this line and, you know, the silence is there and I say sorry for the silence. Trying to do everything to make her feel comfortable. Trying to do everything to let her know that I'm interested in her. She's there standing next to me and then she stops and she's looking at me. I'm looking around, not even being focused on her. I say, do you want to go on a date? Because that's the thing I'm supposed to say at the end, right? I'm supposed to say at the end, hey, let's go on a date. So I say it. This is something that you may notice that you do. You say the right thing, but you don't feel what's behind it. You don't even feel that you want to, but you're operating from this is what's supposed to happen, I guess. And where does that leave her? That leaves her feeling that, yes, there's a guy that's interested in me. Where does it leave you? Okay, I got the number, okay, what do I do now? You don't know that even sometimes in doing that, you are fooling the girl. Because she thought that you were asking her things that you really wanted to know. She thought that the way you engaged her was the way you really wanted to engage her. But only if she knew that you were just bullshitting her and yourself, she would feel hurt by that. Because remember, one of her things in life is to be adored by someone who can really adore her. So when you go up to her and you say these things and you're not really coming from a true place, you're leading her on. You're manipulating her in a sense. And this is something that I used to do. I used to be out there and I'm talking to a girl and as I'm talking to her, I'm noticing that I'm saying the right things. I'm moving from this line to the next line and, and she says something and I have something smooth to say back and I'm transitioning very smoothly through the whole thing. And I feel great about the smooth transition, but I don't feel great about the fact of me really engaging myself. And particularly men who are not used to showing their emotions are ones who find this very difficult. When you're not used to showing how you feel, it's very difficult for you to go up to somebody and truly be engaged. Because the whole time you're censoring yourself. Maybe you feel in a moment, I want to speak to her, or you feel a, a moment of true appreciation, but then you're like, maybe she don't, won't receive it. So you censor it. And you only give a half compliment, or you give a compliment that you feel that's acceptable. Because if you just truly gave a compliment, then you risk judgment. Because truly being yourself, you always risk judgment. This is the difference. Trying to be perfect the whole time means that you are void of feeling, which means that you move away from the emotional plane. That's the plane that she resonates with, but you move away from that plane because you're trying to do the perfect thing. It never ever has the intended impact that you want. But we've done that one now. Now I'm gonna move into the one where you guys will see me just speaking to a woman and telling her how I feel moment to moment. This is why I said in the thumbnail, as you've seen, just tell her what you feel because that's what I'm gonna do. And when you do that, that's far more powerful than you trying to be perfect. It's better to just lay it all out there than to try to censor and cut it in a way that seems perfect. So I'm gonna show you this one.
It was funny looking at the way you smoke your cigarette. Because you move so slow doing everything you like. You gotta go meet your friend, don't you? Yeah. You do. Okay. Well, I still like you. Uh, nothing. You. Nothing stops that. Let's have a. You like Starbucks? Yeah. Another day, well, let's have Starbucks. Okay. You want to? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's the best way to contact you? My name is Anthony. You are a very attractive girl. Thank you. And I look forward to having a coffee with you. You made my day, so. That's right. All right, come here. I'll see you, lovely girl. Okay, okay. Bye. bye. Have bye. a nice day. This one was very different. This is me seeing a girl, noticing that she's waiting for someone. The only thing I can do in this moment is just go lay it out. I walked up, and of course, I made fun of her the way she smoked. And she started laughing and she got on the phone. And when she got off the phone, I, I knew she was getting ready to go. I was like, you're going to meet your friend. She said yes. And I was like, well, another time, I can't remember what I said, <laughs> really. But I said to her basically that I want to see her again. I want to go for a coffee with her. And she's just like, well, yeah, why not? She did the same thing I did. It was like this lay it all out there. Like, yeah, why not? This is much more impactful than if I went up and I was like, excuse me. I was standing over there and I seen you standing here and you look beautiful to me. She'd be like, oh, thank you. And then I just went into, so tell me, uh, what is your greatest passion? And she's just like, well, uh, right now I have to go meet a friend. I said, all right, well, uh, do you want to go on a date? It would have been harder for her to say yes. She might have just been like, uh, yeah, but it would have been harder for her to say yes because she can only engage to the extent that I'm engaged. When I walked up to her and I said to her all those things and everything I was saying, I'm truly engaged while I'm there. So when I say, let's have a coffee or let's go on a date or anything like that, she can really say from her true place, why not? And in the end, as you heard her say, she said, you made my day. Not because I said the right thing, it's because of how I felt and I went up and I told her that. So I had a real uh, effect on the woman. That's because I was affected by her, and now she's affected. And she, women love to be affected by men. This is something that men miss out on when they're out there trying to just say these lines that they think that women are like. They miss out on the treasure of a woman wanting to feel adored by somebody who adores her, or the woman who wants to be seen by the man who can see her, etc., etc. That's all that I'm interested in when I'm in that moment. It's just letting her know how I feel. And then that brings me to you. All the ways that you've been pulled away from being true. All the ways you've been pulled away from just saying what you feel has robbed you of a greater experience with women. I enjoy those moments when I just go up to her and I say, you know, it's funny when I was standing there, I seen you smoking your cigarette. That's really enjoyable for me when I say that. I'm just telling her how I feel. I don't have to say the thing of, I just saw you from over there. Now, is there a time and place for me to say that? Yes, if she's confused. But otherwise, I don't need to say all that. I'm just rolling with, well, how am I impacted by this woman? How is she making me feel? And I go say it. I go tell her. This is one of the things that I gave to my list. You guys probably won't get it unless you're part of my list. It was something for, for Christmas, around Christmas that I gave them, around the holidays, where it was called Mastering Their Approach. And this was simply about learning to harness what you feel and going to go tell it to a woman. Forgetting about everything else around it and just saying what comes from you. It is more important to tell a woman how you feel, when you feel it, than to just try to say the perfect line. Always remember that. It's more important to tell her what you feel, when you feel it. That's all I roll with. If you really want to know, that's all I roll with. When I see a woman, I'm just, I feel this. 
and I allow myself to feel that all the way through. And sometimes it changes along the way because the woman may do something or she may drop something or she may trip or she may start laughing or anything. I'll stay open to how I feel moment to moment, but when I see her, I stay with the feeling and I walk up. And when I'm there, I just say it. And every single time, it seems like it soothes right into the moment. Some guys feel like in the beginning, it's like this hard struck and jive. It's like you're switching gears. Like, all right, there's the girl. Hello, my name is Anthony. It's like this hard shifting. But the grace comes with me saying to her how I feel. And of course, through time for you, learning to just do that in the most natural way to you, the way that feels the most real in the moment. Because for some people, what feels real is to say, you look beautiful. What feels real in that moment is to say, you look attractive. That feels real in that moment. But when you really start to course it, you really start to sink into it, you start to notice that a different element of it starts to come to the surface. Of like, yes, yeah, she's beautiful, but she's beautiful because of this part. I'm impacted her because of this part. The girl you see me talk to, the second one, what was I impacted by? Her way of just looking different. That looks so good to me. And I seen the short hair. Her hair was cut to here. I noticed everything. Her, she had like kind of a fur thing on, it was fake, but she had like kind of like a, a fur coat on that was white. She had like these black stockings, these big boots. I noticed all that when I'm walking up to her. This red lipstick, these glasses that look like mine. This look is just so her. So her, so I can feel that it's very natural to the way that she is. And I walk in from that place of like, this is naturally what I want to tell you. I'm resonating moment to moment and that's making her not go, who is this guy or, or why is he here? Yes, some girls may do that. But many of the times they're doing that simply because you're not used to going up and just naturally being in front of the girl. You're not used to saying things to her and letting her feel like she doesn't get it. Or what are you talking about? Or that's strange. That's a weird compliment. You're not used to that. That's what I want you to, well, that's what I want you to get used to. I want you to get used to when you see the girl telling her what you feel. Telling her. Even if it doesn't land in a way that seems like it's supposed to land. I remember times where I would walk up to a girl and the way I would feel is that I want to tell her this compliment, but then I would go, maybe that compliment is a bit weird. Maybe I shouldn't say that. And then I would just switch it to something that seems like it's a little bit more acceptable. Pretty, cute, adorable. Sexy. I would try to switch it to something that I feel is a little bit more enjoyable. The way you dress look great. Try to switch it like that. But then I went, you know what? I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna go up and I'm just gonna tell her how I feel. And I started saying things that was strange even, even to me. It would come out of my mouth and I would go, woohoo! I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad she received that well. Sometimes I would say that because I'm like, fuck, what the fuck did I just say? I would go up and I would say things like, it's just the curves that you have. Oh my God. And then she would just start laughing or she would just start feeling good about it because she knows that I'm being truthful. Or sometimes I would go up and I would give something and she'd be like, okay, uh, and then she'll walk off. Or she'll maybe be like, no, I'm not interested. But I had to get used to saying what I really feel. Having the girl respond bad and continuing, continuing on saying what I feel. This is actually, if you really want to know, the real key to this is saying what you feel having the girl receive it or not, and continuing that same thread along the way. Because that teaches you that I can go up and I can tell the woman how I feel all the way from the beginning all the way to the end. And once you teach yourself that, and you continuously go through that, and you start getting results based on that, and you start getting positive reinforcement based on that, then you start to go, it's really enjoyable for me to do this, but I know sometimes it's not gonna be enjoyable for the girl. Sometimes the girl may find this to be strange. But I must be willing, the whole way through, to tell her how I feel. 
parts of this may you may find like fuck. So what if I feel like she has a great ass? Should I say that? So I tell her, go walk up to her and say, excuse me, you have an amazing ass, should I say that? If you're not used to saying that to a woman, yes, you should go say that. Absolutely, go say that. You need to know what it feels like to go tell a woman how you feel. Over time, it won't stay at that because then you'll notice that that's just the surface layer. But yes, get it all out there. Like I was just telling you now, just get it all out there. Doesn't matter how the woman receives it, just get it out of you. That's the most important part of it, the expressing of it. And as you continue that, do that all the way through. As you continue that, you will notice that it becomes easier and easier for you to just tell the woman how you feel. And that's everything, not just complimenting and saying, what do you do for a living? Or, or saying, let's go on a date. It's not just these things, it's all the way from telling her that, no, I don't agree with that. Or she goes, well, the people here in this city, they are, they're a little bit, I think, shallow. And then you go, no, I actually think the people in this city are really, really enjoyable. I don't find them shallow at all. That's telling a woman how you feel. She may go, I don't know. I just, I'm a person who feels like fashion is something that everybody should be interested in because I've been interested in my whole life. And another part of you saying what you feel is, I feel the same way. I feel like fashion is something that allows a person to show a different part of themselves. Being able to really say that. But as you continue down this path of really saying what you want to say, and you tell her how you feel, and you continuously do that, you start to learn something very profound. And that is, you can express yourself and it will be okay. That's what you start to learn. This is one of the things that scares people the most is that if I express myself, will I be okay? Yes, you need people saying no. You need women saying no to you. You need people not reaffirming that it's okay. You do need that because that strengthens you. You need strength to be able to express yourself. It's the truth, you do. But the more that you put yourself in that position of saying what you feel, the more you get used to expressing your emotions. This is one thing that's gonna be very important for you is learning how to just express your emotions. This is one of the, the truths about it, is that if you can't express your emotions, it will be very hard for you to relate to women. And that's what this route is. This route is learning how to express the parts of you that you're not used to expressing. Having people say no and yes and no and yes. And that itself giving you the lead way into easily being able to go up to somebody and naturally be. I thank you so much for tuning in to this video where you are able to see both sides. The perfection and just saying how you feel. Just putting it all out there. If you could take anything from this video, it would be this. When you're trying to be perfect, you miss out on feeling and emotions, which is the place where women resonate. When you just say how you feel, tell her how you feel, you resonate with her. You're naturally being. You can truly be engaged when you're there with a woman. And that engages her. She can only be engaged to the level that you are engaged. I had a much longer interaction with the girl who I was saying the perfect lines with versus the girl who I wasn't, and I just let her know. But the second girl was much more affected by what I said than, what the, than the first girl. You have the opportunity to do this. You have the opportunity to really affect women. You do. That is one of your greatest gifts, to adore her. Let her know that, truthfully, because that's what she responds to. Is this real to me? If she can feel the realness behind it, she'll be open by it. In the meantime, what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to go to the description box. It's a free Meet to Bedroom series there. And that's everything from teaching you what do you do before the approach, mindsets, and the approach all the way through to what do you do to get her to your house. 
totally free for you, about 30 minutes of effective teaching. Subscribe, 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 because this is going to give you the chance to follow what I'm doing. Share, share, share with anybody who you feel like this will help. Who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll see you tomorrow.